That's the gimmick. Um, time to keep my channel active fragrance wise. So I'm going to do a coronavirus sample haul. I'll probably do a few of these videos. Um, so not full fledged reviews because, you know, usually when I do like fragrance reviews, I kind of try to compare it to something, make it a little more quotation marks, artistically interesting. So not full reviews for these, but kind of not exactly first impressions, but sort of first impressions. So let's get to some of these. We have the Strangers Perfumes, right? Is that what it's called? And I tried Sangre Dolce. I'm going to be honest. I, I tried this. This is grandma mode to me. I know some people are liking this, but uh, short and sweet for this one. I, I tried this a couple times, and you know what? I just kept thinking, grandma, dude. Let's get that. That was quick, right? <laughs> We're going to go through some of these quick, right? Um, what else do we have? Where was the other Stranger Perfumes? They're somewhere. Oh, so the Strangers Perfume Cigar Rum. So I got Cigar Rum and Cigar Rum Intense, and I try this. The first Cigar Rum, I'm going to be, I'm going to say that this is, uh, you know, supposed to smell like, I guess, a cigar rum in a little bit of a tropical Caribbean, whatever you want to call it. I think that it succeeds with what it's trying to do. I, which is probably the most important thing, would I wear it or wouldn't I, right? Because that de that determines if I would buy it or not. I do think this one smells pretty good. I think it's a bit of a vibe fragrance, right? I think it sets out what it's trying to accomplish, but I actually got really bad performance out of this whenever I've tried this. It is a, it has not lasted very long, so I was not very... It's an all right smell. I might wear it if it was kind of a vibe I was going for, but the performance was really bad. I also tried the Cigar Rum Intense, wherever that sample is. It's somewhere. And uh, that one was, wow, dude. That one was, uh, that one when I first sprayed it, like the, ver the first few seconds I was like, okay, not too bad. And then instantly, what would I say that this one smells like? It reminded me of something like a, almost like a niche version of, Dark Rebel, which I'm fine with Dark Rebel. I would wear Dark Rebel as a vibe, right? Kind of like a, excuse me, a niche version of Dark Rebel, but not as sugary sweet and more of a fruity sweetness and more of a queasy, creamy kind of leather mix to it. And I say that because this was kind of queasy, dude. Like, I smelled this and I was like, man, this uh. This is kind of like, it doesn't smell that, it smells niche. It smells very, uh, it does not smell mass appealing, right? I was like, kind of like a worse niche version of Dark Rebel, but replace some of that kind of like sugary sweetness I'm feeling like, with kind of like a fruity, queasy, creamy leather. Like I have uh, some samples of Dark Rebel somewhere. I should have worn these both. Eventually, you know, if I ever do a full review of it, I'll probably try them both at the same time to compare but that's what i feel like that's what it kind of smells like and again i was kind of queasy when i wore this and it wasn't like scrubber bad but i had enough of a negative perception after wearing this that i can say that the next time that i wore tuscan leather i almost was like oh shit i was like time out calm down i do like tuscan leather right so <laughs> Which I do. I like Tuscan Leather. I think Tuscan Leather is a great vibe fragrance if you can pull it off, right? But man, yeah, I'm giving that... Wasn't very impressed with those. The original Sargara one was okay, but in general, those three that I tried, not too horny. So another one that I tried recently was... Where is it? It was the Roja Dove Enigma Cologne version. And I would be very interested to see how this one is selling because... Hopefully you get what I'm getting at. It feels like such a specific demographic. Like, it does, it smells like, I have a sample of the original downstairs as well that I should, again, these are kind of rough impressions, but it does remind me of the original. But just like the original, I'm not super horny about the opening of it. You know, I get the novelty vibe of it. Some people feels, feels it kind of like, you know, like cognac kind of smells like a some people smoke things kind of smells like a those coca-cola gummy things again i don't really eat candy but i vaguely remember the smell from trying it a couple times as a kid like i can see a little bit of that but i think where the fragrance really shines is i do think it has an awesome dry down the dry down smells great 
And even the opening that I'm not super horny about, it's something like I'm not super horny about, but I don't mind smelling it because I appreciate the novelty, right? But why I'm interested in how this one is selling is because it really does, rem again, I'm going to have to try them both on an arm and, and to exactly compare if I do a real review, but it smells so similar to the original and it really is just a kind of, I was getting vibe, it's just a less powerful version of the original. And when you see that it's a cologne version, it does, it's not something like, boom, it was gone instantly, dude. Like, it lasted me all day. It wasn't like blasting off me all day. But I still got all day. So my sort of theory on it is, if you know what Enigma is in the first place and you were willing to buy a bottle of it in the first place, you probably already are rich or have a high disposable income that justifies buying this fragrance. So then you think like, who is this really appealing to? And you're like, well, it's the person that isn't rich enough that is into fragrances that still wants it. So that's why they would buy the cologne version. But then in that sense, I feel like if you know the fragrance, if you're into the fragrance community enough that you know that, wouldn't you also probably know about splits and decants that you would probably just try to save some money on and get a decant or a split of it in the first place because they, they smell so similar again i'm not sure it's such a weird because again it's it's not like it doesn't last at all it does last it just kind of smells like a less powerful version so it's succeeding in what it's doing but it's such an ambiguous demographic of who it's going for i think does that make sense so i would be interested in seeing how it smells Again, I really like the dry down, and the opening is interesting to me in a strange way, right? What were some other ones that I tried? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I finally tried that. Uh, oh, the Conde Gassans or Gassans. Hi, CDG, whatever, the Floriental. So I thought that this smelled like, and each time I tried this, this smelled, I got like, um, tried this a few times, and when the sweetness came out was different each time that I tried it. So... I've had times that I got the plum sweetness immediately. I had times where I got the plum sweetness a few hours after it. And I had times where I got the plum sweetness, like, and I'm talking about very strong, very syrupy sweetness, you know, hours and hours and hours into the dry down. So performance was good on this. Wasn't blasting off my skin, but in terms of having a thick sort of solid bubble, it did do well when I tried it. I would kind of compare it to... And it, could, it depends, again, when the plum really comes out for you because each the few times I tried it, it was different for me. Um, one second. Time out. So when I got the sweetness, or what was I? I lost my train of thought. So I thought that, man, I really lost my fucking train of thought. Sorry about that. Lost my train of thought. Got a interrupted so basically what do i think it smells like i think it smells like imagine you have a lot of kind of incense whatever wood chips whatever a field of them there's a forest fire of incense chips right and it's giving off this smoky aura right and when it leads you in you just see like what burned down these incense sticks of incense and cedar you know woody notes whatever and you see it's kind of like a molten sweet plum that's kind of what i got out of this i do think it smells good not not something like i would be interested in uh trying single malt in this at the same time and see what i like more in terms of like you know that kind of woody plum kind of smell so i do think it smells good i think if i had a high disposable income i would probably get a decant of it if that makes sense and the last ones I'll do too for day for today, I tried the Montals or Arabians, Arabians Tonka, and the Arabians Pure Love, whatever. Uh, from, from my impressions of these, I would say that if you know Montal, a lot of times you can think that Montal is super powerful. It's super out there, super aggressive, maybe potentially, right? There might be that kind of stereotype. And then you see these come in black bottles. So I was a little bit worried that like maybe there's gonna be like, ah oh, man, maybe these are gonna be kind of out there right like i'm not gonna I'm not super sure if i'm gonna want to wear these maybe these are like super out there but i don't think you have to be worried when you smell this it's not super out there not offensive you know aggressive in that kind of sense so for arabians tonka whatever it was 
I've seen some people saying that they think that this smells like a mix of Baccarat, Rouge, Rhodes, whatever, and Montal's uh, and uh, Intense Cafe. I'm not really getting that. And take this with a grain of salt because when you've smelled so many hundreds of fragrances, I can't even find all the samples I have in my basement. But uh, it's almost reminded me, and I wish I could find the sample, of actually kind of the vibe I was getting of this fragrance. I feel like it was Montal's Honey Oud or whatever. Is it Honey Oud or Oud or whatever that one was? And by that, when I smell Honey Oud, Oud, whatever it was, I forget. Is it Honey Oud? What was that one fragrance they have called again? I can't find my sample of it. That is a fragrance that is uh, up close. It smells pretty aggressive and kind of rough and out there. But the scent trail of it is really nice, right? That kind of, that kind of, the scent trail of that is really nice. Potentially, you know, out there. But once it dries down, that one is great. This is the kind of vibe that that was giving me. Except it was never, it's never like, you know, aggressive and in your face and rough like that. But the kind of, the nice scent trail that that leaves, that kind of vibe it was kind of reminding me of that, I think, because it's been so long. I, I don't, I couldn't find my sample of it to try it again, but very sweet, very sugary. It's, uh, I'm not sure exactly the English adjective I would use to describe it. It's not harsh. It's not quite rough, but it does have an edge to it that I think potentially makes it sexy. Does that make sense? Not harsh, not rough. But there is a bit of an edge to the sweetness, you know what I mean? But certainly, you see the black bottle and you think Montal, you're like, fuck, is this going to be out there? No, I don't think you have to worry about that, dude. But uh, yeah, very sweet, um, sugary, the saffron. I would probably wear it. I don't know. I'd have to try it some more. But uh, again, I'm getting a vibe, kind of like that, what Honey Oud gives me or whatever. But hopefully it's Honey Oud. I haven't smelled that in so long. But except it's not as aggressive as that, like up close. And then the other one was Pure Love. Pure Love, um, I could smell a lot of different aspects of this one when I tried it. Uh, you can smell the leather in it. You can smell the sweetness, the rose and everything like that. I could smell a lot of different aspects of it. So I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. It certainly, again, doesn't smell out there because of the black bottle. You know what I mean? I do think it, it smells pretty good, but there's a lot of... I'm smelling a lot of the notes in it, so I'm not exactly sure what I think about it. I do think it has a slight touch of an old feeling. Sometimes I smell something that smells a little bit off. It's not funky or anything like that, but I do smell a little bit of a... There is just a pinch of something older in it sometimes when I get like a whisper of it, but smells good. Would I wear it? I would probably wear it. Again, not something I'm out there super horny to go and buy immediately, but... Uh, yeah, so anyway, not full reviews, just impressions of those. Keeping my channel active fragrance-wise, I got some more samples in of other stuff. I got more samples even here, but coronavirus sample haul, I guess, right, dude? Anyway, uh, yeah, more stuff to come later.